Welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. We get autographs TTM or through the mail by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities photographs and cards and magazines through the mail with a self-addressed stamped envelope. Just a letter of request asking for their autograph. You'll be shocked how many times you can get a response. What we do, we come to YouTube. That's what a big part of my channel. I'd like to share the information so that way if you see your favorite athlete or celebrity, you may be able to get their autograph too. First one is very thin, no postmark. I think I know what it is because there's no card in there. So this should be a good one. We'll open it first and hopefully it is what it is, as the president says. And it is. Only signs index cards, Hall of Famer Lynn Swan. How about that? How about that? Lynn Swan. Chris Graff's 101 is jealous. I got my index card. He's got a bunch of index cards. Anyway, he, the Lynn Swan only signs index cards, won't sign cards or photos. 68 years old now. He's in the Hall of Fame. Played for nine years from 74 to 82 in the heyday of the Steelers. He won four Super Bowls in his nine seasons. Super Bowls 9, 10, 13, and 14. He played his best football in the Super Bowls. In fact, he won the Super Bowl MVP in, uh, in, in number 10. And uh, when you play well in the Super Bowl and you win four of them, Hall of Famer voters, they come running three times in the Pro Bowl. And they voted him in the Pro, in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2001. And when you look at it, he, uh, he only had 336 receptions. Never had a 1,000-yard receiving season. Really never even had 900 yards in a season. But uh, he's in the Hall of Fame because he uh, played well in an era that the passing game wasn't what it was today. In fact, if you look at the stats, there are guys with almost three times as many receptions as he did, and they'll never even get a sniff for the Hall of Fame. I mean, Derek Mason caught 943 passes. But he's not going to get in the Hall of Fame. Keeney McCardle, Musin Muhammad, Santana Moss. Terrence Mathis, and you're saying who? Yeah, all those guys had at least two times, had almost two and a half times many receptions as Lynn Swan. But they didn't win four Super Bowl rings, and they didn't win a Super Bowl MVP. And they didn't play back in the 70s when the passing game was much different. Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2001, College Football Hall of Fame for his exploits at USC in 1993. Got that back in 11 days, no fee, but he does not sign cards. Send him an index card. Next one, also no postmark, and that is Don August. Follow me on Twitter, Don August 38. I tell baseball stories. There's a website. That's pretty cool. Don August, one, two, three, and four. Send him four, including two 92 Fleer Ultras. Let's just feature that one. And the 90 upper deck looks good, too. But when I need to send him is what? My focus on Olympic cards. I need to send him that 85 tops. He was on the Olympic team in 84. He's 57 years old. He played for just four seasons in the majors, all for these Brewers. And this is his final season. His lifetime record there, 34 and 30. That's where it ended up. Played from 88 to 91. In 85, he's in the top set because he was in the U.S. Olympic team. Teammates like Mark McGuire and Bill Swift and all the other guys in that 85 top set. He was a D2 player from Chapman University in California. So that was kind of a surprise. The other guys usually from big schools, big programs. He was a D2 player. Made the Olympic team. 34 and 30 overall. Nine days, no fee for Don August. Next one's coming from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Always exciting to get back from Texas. There's Buck Showalter on a card that I did not send him. <laughs> I did not send him that card. Buck Showalter. I sent him that one. And that one. I sent him the 92 tops. Uh, yeah, 93 tops. Pretty cool. He sent me an extra star of Fort Lauderdale. Pretty cool. Thank you, sir. Very much. Three of two. He's just 64 years old now. He seems like he's been around forever. Seems like he should be older than that. 64 years old. He was a manager for a long time. Managed about 3,000 games in the... Uh, we'll, we'll feature the freebie. Managed 3,000 games plus in the, in the major leagues. 
we need 1,551 of them, 506 winning percentage. Three-time manager of the year. And uh, in between his stints and, and after his stints as manager, he was an analyst on ESPN, so he's been in the public eye for a long time. Fun fact, he picked up his nickname because he liked to walk around the clubhouse buck naked. <laughs> That's a true story. Three of two. Thank you for that, Mr. Showalter. Three of two. Fifteen days, no fee. Next one's coming from North Houston, Texas. Not Dallas, but Houston. Are they about two hours apart, I believe, of drive time? Benny D. Benny DiStefano. All right. Never got Benny back before. Former Pirate, 58 years old. One, two, that 89 Fleer is hiding behind there. And four, 89 tops traded. 25T. Nice. Let's feature the 90 Fleer. Looks nice with that white border and signature pops on that. Benny DiStefano, left-handed catcher. Outfielder by trade, but he did catch for some games. There he is, listed as a catcher on the 90 Fleer. So what's odd about that? He's a left-hander. Last person to catch a game in the major leagues as a left-handed player. There haven't been many over the years. He played nine seasons from 88 to 84 to 92. Here's the 89 season on the back of there. Kind of up and down between the majors and the minors. Uh, then he became a coach. Played Philly for the Astros his final year, but in between that he played a year in Japan. And then he became a coach in the Mets system, minor leagues. As recently as uh, 2019, anyway, he was in the minor leagues. But who knows what happened to him this year, 2020. Fun fact, he left-handed catcher, caught a major three games in 1989. Nine days, no fee, Benny DiStefano. Next one coming from New York, New York. A heck of a town. New York, New York. There's some more index cards. Unsigned, but a card signed by Dick Perez. I think I was hoping to get a freebie from Mr. Perez. Who is Dick Perez, you say? Never heard of him. I've heard of Tony Perez, but not Dick Perez. Well, as you see on this uh, Diamond King checklist, he's the artist who drew, painted most of those Diamond Kings back in the day. Started in 1982. Perez Steel Galleries. He's the Perez of the Perez Steel Galleries. Really cool. He's 80 years old now. He's an artist in Major League's Phillies team artist for a long time. He still may be. He's now working for Tops. He does the uh, turkey red cards for Tops. At least most of those. So that's, his big, that's a big time. 23 days, no fee for Dick Perez. Well, that's it. Short and sweet. Five returns. All free. Quick recap. Lynn Swan, 11 days, no fee. And he does not sign cards, just index cards. Don August, nine days, no fee. Go cover, follow him on Twitter. Buck Showwater, 15 days, no fee. Betty DiStefano, nine days, no fee. And artist Dick Perez, 23 days, no fee. Hey, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought down below by leaving a comment. I'll leave a one-click subscription right there. Make sure you, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that one-click and then hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And I'll leave the last TTM video. In case you missed it, you can one-click and watch it right there. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you soon.